What's up? Meditate here. And in this video, we will be covering the muscles of the arm, which as you know, are a part of the upper limb. So the muscles of the upper limb are divided into four parts according to their anatomical location. The first group are the muscles of the shoulder joints. Then we have the muscles of the arm, muscles of the forearm, and then the muscles of the hand. So again, muscles of the arm are what we're going to focus on today. And they're divided into two main groups. We have the anterior group, which are also called the flexor muscles. There are three muscles here. And the posterior group, or the extensor muscles. And there are two muscles here in the posterior region. So let's go ahead and do the anterior group first. The first muscle of the anterior group is the brachialis muscle, which is here. This muscle originates from the anterior diaphysis of the humerus, and then it inserts at the tuberosity of the ulna, as you see here. And when this muscle contracts, it pulls the ulna upwards and flexes the lower arm. The next muscle is the coracobrachialis muscle, which is here. And as the name says, it originates from the coracoid process of the scapula and inserts at the anterior diaphysis of the humerus. And when the fibers of this muscle contracts, it flexes the arm, adducts the arm, and also internally rotates the arm. The last muscle of the anterior group is the biceps brachii muscle, which is here. It's called biceps, so it consists of two parts. It consists of a long head, as you see here, and a short head. The long head originates from the supraglenoidal tubercle, and the short head originates from the coracoid process of the scapula. The two heads then unite and insert at the radial tuberosity of the radius, as you see here. This muscle is responsible for flexion and supination of the forearm, and also flexion and abduction of the arm. So that was the three muscles of the anterior group. Next we have the posterior or extensor group. So let's go ahead and look at the posterior view of the arm. The first one is the uncuneus, which is here, down here. It originates from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and inserts at the epiphysis of the ulna. And when it contracts, it pulls the lower arm back to extend it. The last muscle is called the triceps brachii. It's called triceps, so it has three heads. It has a medial head and a lateral head. These two heads are located deep next to the bone and they both originate from the posterior diaphysis of the humerus, as you see here, and they form an important landmark. You know the groove for the radial nerve, from where the radial nerve passes? The medial head will originate under the groove of the radial nerve, and the lateral head will originate above the groove for the radial nerve. The last head is called the long head, and it lies on top of the medial and the lateral head, as you see here. It's called the long head because it reaches even further than the other two, so it originates from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. All three parts of the triceps brachii are going to unite and insert at the olecranon of the ulna. And the function of this muscle is to extend the forearm as well as extend and adduct the arm. And here's a little more realistic view of the triceps. This is the long head, this is the lateral head, and this is the medial head. So that was all the muscles of the arm. I really hope this video helped. The next video is going to be about the muscles of the forearm.